Hi guys, my name is Fahad Daud. I wanted to share with you the biggest problem of Pablo Escobar that has a lot of similarities with a big problem that you have right now. Look, Pablo Escobar was this big cocaine kingpin, Colombian drug lord, who was estimated to have about $56 billion in wealth. Some call him the wealthiest criminal. But Pablo Escobar, this drug dealer, one of the biggest problems that he had was the Colombian police, the army and the CIA after him. But an even bigger problem that he had was that all these billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of cash that he was collecting, where do, does he store it? Now obviously, Pablo Escobar couldn't just walk into a bank and just put it in the bank because they're gonna ask him questions. So he ended up storing it in warehouses, burying it underground, putting it in sofas, between walls, and all kinds of innovative ways. But the biggest worry that he had was when he stored this money in these innovative but pay-as-you-go kind of schemes, the biggest worry he had was mold, rats, fungus, termites eating through the money, right? So essentially, billions and billions of dollars would go down to zero if he didn't or wasn't able to store it properly. Now, this is where there's a slight similarity in the cash that you've got stored away in your bank, right? Why is this? I remember back in 2008 and 2009 when there was this GFC, the global financial crisis, and Dubai suffered as well to a, a fair bit, to be fair. Everybody and their mother said, cash is king, cash is king. If you got cash, you're king. Well, it's taken me about a couple of years to figure out that cash isn't king, to be honest with you. Cash flow is king. So if you've got cash invested in income generating assets that are giving you money on a daily or a monthly or a yearly basis, that's what is king. Do you know why cash on its own is not king? Simple. If you even take Dubai, Dubai's got inflation between two to six percent per year. So every year, your 100 dirhams in the bank sitting on its own will be reduced to 94 dirhams. Inflation simply means that you can buy the same amount of product today with the same amount of money that you could, yes, less amount of product, let me say it like this. You can buy lesser amount of product today than you could with the same amount of money yesterday. Now, of course, if you put it in the bank, you might get a saving deposit, you might get a little bit of, uh, let's call it profit, coming from the bank, but most of the profit rates vary between one and 2.5%, sometimes 3%, you're still not going to hit the inflation mark and meet it, right? So when your cash is just sitting in the bank, ends up losing its value. So cash for me no longer is king. My money is invested in income generating assets. Now you can choose to generate income through many ways. Real estate is just one of them. You could have agricultural land, you could have a business, you could have shares and stock, anything that gets you and generates income back to you is where the real money is at, right? Not just having cash, but investments where the inflow is coming back, which is why cash flow is king, right? Even my very good friend's grandmother, who's about 90, minute, 90 years old, 95 years old, even all her money is invested in real estate. And we find it funny because we find it funny because we manage her properties and she asks us a lot of questions and she keeps us on our toes. But it's it's fun, it's enjoyable. She's figured it out. I think it's time for you to figure it out as well. That cash not king, cash flow is king. Invest it in an income generating asset. Let your money work for you so that your wealth can grow and multiply. Until next time, any questions, comments that you have, put them in the 
uh, section below in the comment section or you know what my email address and my phone number is down there as well you can reach me on whatsapp or email me i generally always respond but give me a few days if you don't get the response from me hit me up send me a reminder and i'll come back to you until next time talk to you soon